Jesse was making her first round of the flight when she noticed a baby all by himself. Her first thought was that the parent must be nearby, perhaps in the bathroom or stretching their legs in the aisle. However, as she continued looking, she couldn't spot anyone who appeared to be the child's guardian. When checking the manifest, the child was not even on the list. She got the strange feeling that something was very wrong. This could not be good. Jesse quickly asked the other passengers if they had seen something, but no one had any information about the baby or his parents. Then she approached the baby to see if there was any clues to identify the child or his guardians. Then she noticed something strange. As Jesse approached the baby, she found a strange note attached to his blanket that read, Please take care of him. This note made Jesse even more anxious and confused. The baby seemed to be in good health and was not crying, but Jesse knew that it was not safe to leave him alone. Jesse's confusion quickly turned into panic when she realized the child was not on the flight manifest. She knew that she had to inform the cabin crew and all the airport officials immediately. In her panic, she let go a little scream that worried other passengers. Jessie informed the cabin crew about the baby and the note she found. The cabin crew was also concerned and informed the pilot. The pilot decided to contact the airport and inform them about the situation. They were met with a strange response. The pilot contacted the airport and informed them about the situation. The airport authorities immediately contacted the police and arranged for a medical team to meet the flight upon landing. But it looked like the situation was more severe than they thought. The police, meanwhile, opened an investigation to look for clues. They needed permission to see the footage of the airport. They had nothing to go at the moment, and the baby was in the sky where they could not see or examine him. The police started searching for the baby's parents immediately. They contacted the airlines and checked the flight manifest again, but the baby's name was not on the list. They also checked the CCTV footage of the airport and the flight to find any clue about the parents. Meanwhile, the other passengers on the flight were looking after the baby and taking care of him. Jesse stayed with the baby and tried to calm him down. Due to all the commotion, it started to look like it worried the baby a lot. The baby started crying after some time and would not stop. He was calling for his mother, but no one knew where she was. The baby obviously could not talk yet and was only calling for his mother. Jesse tried to calm the baby down by singing to him and playing with him. She also tried to feed him, but he refused to take the bottle. This is when she realized the baby was not in good health, as they all thought he was. After a while, the baby started sweating and Jessie grew worried. She had no idea what to do. She tried asking other passengers, but they were left clueless as well. The baby's health quickly deteriorated. The baby kept muttering some words that no one could understand. Jessie and the other passengers were worried and knew that the baby needed medical attention. They had the feeling something wasn't right. That is when another flight attendant said that there was a doctor in the back of the plane. Fortunately, there was a doctor in the plane who quickly inspected the baby. The doctor found the baby needed to go to the hospital immediately. However, the flight would take several more hours. He thought the baby did not have that time to wait that long. The doctor quickly inspected the baby and found that he had a high fever and needed urgent medical attention. This information was quickly passed to the pilot who equally started sweating. He got increasingly nervous about the situation. The doctor recommended that the baby be taken to the hospital as soon as possible. The flight control decided to make an emergency landing to take the baby to the nearest hospital. Everyone was set on making sure the baby was fine and solving the mystery later. The flight control wanted to make an emergency landing because the baby was an enormous risk and they needed to take him to the hospital as soon as possible. The flight crew knew that they had to act fast to save the baby's life. The doctor decided to stay next to the baby to monitor him. Despite the police's effort on the ground, they had no clue where the baby's parents were or how to contact them. No one was seen on CCTV footage due to a very unfortunate malfunction. The airport staff on the ground had not seen anyone either. The baby's health was critical and the doctors needed to do a DNA test to confirm his identity. They also needed to provide him with the necessary health care to act fast to save the baby's life. The plane crew had to provide him with emergency medical care and medication to bring down his fever. The nearest airport was in hospital an hour away, and the doctor knew that every minute was critical for the baby's survival. He monitored his condition and did everything in their power to keep him stable until they reached the hospital. Meanwhile, Jesse was getting increasingly frustrated and wanted answers about the situation, but no one could give her more information. The police on the ground were also curious about the note and asked the pilot about it. They wanted to know if he had any idea who wrote it or what it meant. 
He told them that there was a cryptic message on the note with some numbers. The note read, Please, M, take care of him, which was cryptic and did not provide much information about the baby or his guardian. M, who is that? It did not provide much clarity either. However, there were still the numbers on the notes. There were some numbers on the note which Jessie had written down. She had given them to the police hoping that it would help them in their investigation. One officer immediately recognized the pattern. He quickly got to work. The numbers formed some coordinates which the police used to narrow down their search area for the baby's parents. They knew they had some clue where to start. It was almost like one that left the baby behind wanted the police to find this. After an hour-long flight, the plane landed at the nearest airport with a hospital. The medical team immediately took the baby to the hospital for further treatment. Everyone was relieved the baby at least made it the entire flight. The baby was admitted to the hospital intensive care unit, where the doctors continued to monitor his condition. They ran several tests and found that the baby was malnourished and dehydrated. This was not good. The baby needed extensive medical attention and the doctors worked around the clock to stabilize his condition. The police were guarding the baby and keeping a close watch on him. They knew that he was a key piece of evidence in their investigation. They needed to find who this M was. They had a feeling if they did not guard the baby, he might disappear. The baby needed to regain his strength before the doctors could conduct a DNA test to confirm his identity. So, they had to wait. The police kept asking the doctors so that they could continue the investigation, but they were continuously held back. Eventually, the doctor came with the good news that the baby was fully recovered. The doctors conducted several blood tests and DNA tests to determine the baby's identity and find his parents. They did not get any initial hints in the test, but they knew that they were missing something. Something crucial. But then one of the officers brought good news. They had managed to decrypt the entire message. There was a Megan living in the house that matched the coordinates that were on the strange note. They almost knew that this Megan had the answer that they were looking for. The coordinates of the note led the police to a remote house. At first, it seemed like the place was abandoned. Then they saw a light turn on and they knew they had to be somewhere inside. They had a search warrant, but when knocking on the door, no one answered. The police squad present at the house decided that the situation was so severe that they needed answers. They were left to bust open the door. When rushing in, they stumbled upon an old couple who were totally caught off guard. The couple was baffled when the police burst into their door and demanded answers about the baby's identity and how he ended up on the flight. They had absolutely no idea what they were talking about. They did not have a baby or anyone that they knew, but the woman was indeed named Megan. The police explained the situation to the couple and asked them to come with them to the hospital to meet the baby. They were curious about the whole situation, however, they got a little hesitant as well. They did not want to get into any trouble. The DNA tests were returning and the doctors were waiting for the couple to arrive at the hospital. The DNA tests did not get any hits from the database, however, they had a suspicion that they needed to test Macon as well. The baby needed proper feeding and care. The doctors were hopeful that the couple would be able to care for him once he was discharged. However, Macon told the police and doctors she had no idea who this baby was. She has no intention of taking the baby home. The doctors asked Macon to cooperate in testing her DNA but she initially refused. She did not give birth to a baby. She did not want anything to do with it. However, the police had sufficient evidence to make Megan cooperate and she had no choice. Megan gave in and let the doctors run a DNA test on her as she was very surprised. Her husband Jason had no clue either what was going on. After the test, they were led to a separate room to get questioned by the police detectives. The detectives questioned the couple about why a baby would be sent to them. Megan kept repeating that she had no idea. The detectives started to believe her until she made a slip up, something that baffled the detectives. Megan was quickly taken to the baby alone where she bursted into tears. She could not contain herself. There was definitely more going on than she did not want to tell her husband about. What could it be? When Megan finally saw the baby, she fell to her knees and cried tears of joy and relief. She was overwhelmed with emotion and gratitude towards a medical team and the police for saving the baby's life. The detective present demanded answers from Megan about how the baby ended up on the flight. Then one of the doctors came rushing with the strange explanation. The DNA results had returned with something shocking. It turns out that Megan was related to the baby. Megan sighed. She knew she had to come clear. She was about to explain herself when her husband came into the room. Megan explained that the baby's mother, her daughter, was unable to care for him and sent him to them. 
However, when they realized that the baby was sick and needed medical attention, they got cold feet because it raised too many questions. Jason, her husband, had no idea about this. In the end, the baby stayed with his grandparents and the police closed the case. The incident highlighted the importance of keeping a close eye on children and reporting any suspicious activity immediately. It also showed the dedication and professionalism of the airline staff, the medical team and the police who worked together to save the baby's life and solve the mystery of his identity.